Then it goes down and says, over my circumstances, gives me another chance for my God to pray. To say, anybody other than me, every now and again, you need a second chance because you did something that, that wasn't worthy to God. And he said, this is how much I love you. I'm going to give you another chance over your circumstance. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Because I bring it. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. That right there, that, that says enough. That shows God's glory. Amen. 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 I wish I could speak the way I want to speak, but I don't want to lose my voice this week, so I'm going to try to stay right here, y'all. I'm going to try to stay right here. Okay? I'm going to try to stay right here. But I feel the glory of God, and I'm a, I'm a, but I'm going to try to stay right here because I know the God that, that William is talking about that brings me. I'm going to try to stay right here. But, mm, mm. Ah, because God reigns.
The flyer will be posted in the evening. Please, for more information, contact Intercessor Prayer at mccbaltimore.org. Remember to make sure you are registered to vote in your county. This is a voting year. The primary voting day is June 16, 2022. There are cookbooks located in the back of the church. These were don donations to the church. Please take several and share with your loved ones. Please check your e-news e for more information. If you're not receiving our e-news, please contact Latonya Newsom Lewis. At this time, we will have our late delegate, Minister Melinda Moody. Good morning. It is my turn. I am Minister Melinda Moody, and I am your lay delegate. Notice I said yours, not mine, not um, the church down the street, but MCC Baltimore's. So, I'm here to talk to you about the biggest event that this denomination has every three years, our general conference. Well, first off, it's virtual. It, you don't got to travel anywhere. You don't even have to get out of your bed to go if you don't want to. I'm going to get out of mine, but you, know, you don't have to get out of yours. And we're planning on having streaming stations right here at the church. But that's not the thing I really came to tell you. First off, the early bird rate has been extended another month. Okay? And if you get it, you get to keep everything and view everything for another six months because sometimes they're going to have three workshops going on at a time and I haven't learned how to be three places at one time yet so <laughs> you know I'm not God I am not omnipresent <laughs> but the biggest thing I am excited about this past week they sent out the planetary speakers and I was like wow because guess what this is the most diverse group of speakers we have had since I've been a member of MCC. I was reading this over and I was like, wait a minute. We got somebody who was a native of Brazil. We have an Asian person. We have somebody from Mexico. Oh, oh, wait a minute. We have a panel discussion. Oh, wait a minute. I know some of these names. There's Reverend Victoria Burson, Reverend Brendan Boone. Oh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not the biggest name on there. It's red, it's gonna be led by our own Reverend Dr. Denise Bowles. Yes! Woo! Woo! Look at us, we is coming up in the world. We is, all right? I was like, wow. They're doing the dang thing this time because this is the first time I can remember the one of the planetary speakers was something besides white. I'm not trying to say anything. Speak your truth. But I'm, you know, like the pastor said, I gotta speak my truth. And I, it's so nice to see so many different peoples represented. I am so excited. So if you can't afford the $200, that's all it is for this. We're going to stream some of this live here at this church. Okay, and you can come join us. You know us. We're going to have food and snacks. We, we, can't, we can't just sit and, you know, be calm and cool. But I'm like, I'm so excited. When I read this list, all I did was I looked at my wife and I said, Joe, Joe, did you see this? And she's like, what? I said, no, you better look at this. <laughs> they got all white. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
it's time. Giving time. Giving, giving time. time. Amen. That's a part of the service that we all can be a part of. That's good. Amen. As I reflect on the season that we are in, I can't help but to think of the greatest gift that of all that comes from John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that she gave her only son, that whoever believes in her should not perish, but have eternal life. In this scripture, God gives the greatest gift, her son. Not only did God give her son, she sacrificed her son for us so that we could have eternal life. That is love. God shows us how to give a sacrifice out of love. A sacrifice means I don't have it, but I'm giving it because I know that God deserves this act of love. That's good. When we give in the house from a, or the church from a place called love, God will take your sacrifice and make sure your needs are being met. That's true. She shows us that she made the ultimate sacrifice by giving her son with us on her mind. I can only imagine being a parent saying, Pastor Bernice, you can have my firstborn. Ain't no way. I give you that sacrifice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's love. That's good. She showed us that she made the ultimate sacrifice by giving her son with us on her mind because she said, I love you so much and I'm giving you my son so that you can have eternal life. We already know that we can, and I say it every time I do the offertorial appeal, we cannot be God given no matter how much we try. Mm -hmm. However, we should make a conscious decision to give regardless of the amount and give in love, even if it is a sacrifice, and then watch God make ways out of no ways for our situations. Give as God has shown us. Make sacrifices when it comes to giving. It's not always easy, but that's love. There are ways to give Give to 844-526-6222. Again, you can text give to 844-526-6222. Or you can give fun your financial donations via PayPal. Again, you can text 844-526-6222. Or via PayPal. For those of us that are in the building, if you have cash, we do have the basket.
thank you for being a precious man. We thank you for loving us enough that you decided to die. But just for us, you decided to get up with all power in your hand. You decided to ascend into heaven and send back the comforter called the Holy Ghost. God, we thank you. We don't take that for life. We don't take that lightly. But we say thank you. God, you know what everyone stands in need of this morning. We ask that you meet them where they are, God. Remind them that you are here with them, even in the midnight hour, God. You see their tears, God. You comfort in them, God. Remind them that I'm here. I've never left you and nor would I ever forsake you. I'm here. Just turn to me. And I will be here for you. I will carry that burden for you, God. We thank you for carrying the burden for us in the name of Jesus. Now we call out those that are sick in their bodies in the name of Jesus. Those that are shut in, we call them out in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick in their mind, we call them out in the name of Jesus. Those that are dealing with bereavement, we're calling them out in the name of Jesus, God. You be there for them in the name of Jesus because you said you would and I'm giving you back your word because you're not a God that will lie. So we're standing on the promises that you made for us, God. When you said that you would be there, you could be all things to all people. So we ask that you be all things to all people because only you know what we really are in need of. God, we speak to war and we ask for peace. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you, God. We Thank you, we thank you. And if I had a thousand tongues, it still wouldn't be enough to say thank you. God, we glorify you in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. We call this spirit. We're praying over the youth of Baltimore right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak, I call, I pray for the youth in the name of Jesus. God, touch them, God. Keep them, God. Whatever it is that they're going through, God. God, you make a way for them in the name of Jesus. You know their home situations that are uh, making them feel that they have to make the decisions that they're making that are not pleasing to society, God, so you be with them. Allow them to find a safe place to go this week, God, in the name of Jesus. Because for some of our youth, the schoolhouse is their safe place for those that are in abusive situations at home, God. Allow them to find safety someplace else this week as we are on spring break in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we praise you. As our speaker of the house, step in front of this podium in a few minutes, God, I ask that you release your anointing. Allow her to speak your word to your people. Allow it to fall fresh on our ears and our hearts. In Jesus' name. The next thing you'll hear is our song of preparation, Power, and then the next voice you'll hear is Minister Melinda Lee with the message. 